Hi, I'm Cindy Clark and I'm the Clay Teacher, but everybody knows me as Mrs. Clay. With Mrs. Clay and Clay, it's Clay Day. Every day is Clay Day! <laughs> Our kit comes with enough clay to make two angels, but today we're just going to make one. We have our piece of clay, we're going to roll it back and forth. Some people have problem rolling back and forth. You can just roll it forward, pick it up, and roll it forward again. If it's going flat, 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 you're pushing too hard, just relax, you're making an angel. I'll probably finish decorating her dress a little bit later. The last thing I want to talk about is the attitude of your angel. Just by moving her ever so slightly, you can change your mood. She can be feeling kind of sad and looking forward that way. She could be maybe questioning and going off to the side. She could be looking up at the stars. She's your angel. I think I want mine just kind of looking down a little bit like this. But you choose how you want your angel to stand. I think she's done. Like I said, I'll finish up her dress in a bit and now she's ready for drying. Before we start painting our angel, make sure she is completely dry. Take your time in your painting. Now I've gone ahead and I've painted this one already. She's painted completely on the bottom and all the way up and she's dry. Now I want to start decorating the angel. When you're doing the angel, I'm only going to use two colors. It's best to let the texture work as decoration and not try to go overboard and paint her hair and her hands and all that. Just leave her white and I'm going to decorate with the gold and paint her wings gold. Often if you're decorating, less is more. It's going to take me a few minutes to paint her wings and her halo. I do want to do a nice job. When I'm finished painting the wings and the halo, we're going to come back and we're going to seal the angel. My angel is now painted and decorated the way I like. You might want to give your angel more than one coat of paint to get the color that you want, but I like what she looks like and now I want to seal her. In order to seal her, we have the sealant. We're going to paint the sealant on just like we did the white paint, starting at the bottom and painting the bottom, and when the bottom is completely covered with the sealant, you'll want to paint up the sides. So once the bottom is covered, it's going to take a while to dry. When the angel is completely covered in sealant and the sealer is dry, then your angel's finished. 